everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the even berry stitch, which is the stitch that you see here in front of you. The even berry stitch is a highly textured stitch. It creates a very thick, solid fabric. Uh, this is the front of it here and the back of it here. The berries themselves are uh, similar to bobble stitches with a slight variation. They are alternated between slip stitches and then the rows are your berry stitches with rows of single crochet stitches and slip stitches. So you can see that this is quite dense. Uh, it's a nice fabric, it's stretchy and uh, quite thick. You can let me know in the comments what you would use this stitch pattern for and uh, I would love to hear. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Yarnspirations as well as a six millimeter crochet hook. There will be links for both of these items in the description of this video. While you're here don't forget to subscribe and uh, this channel is updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as this one that you're going to see today. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start the even berry stitch by making a slip knot. You're then going to make a foundation chain and your foundation chain can be any even number of stitches. So you're going to want a multiple of two. Today I am going to start by making a foundation chain of 20 stitches. fifteen and twenty. Once you have your foundation chain to the desired length you're going to count into the second chain from your hook and into that second chain work one single crochet and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of this row, I'm going to have a total of 19 stitches. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work our first row of e even berry stitches. We're going to start by working a slip stitch into that first stitch. Into the second stitch you're going to work a berry stitch. To work your berry stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through one loop on your hook. Yarn over once again insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You will then have five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five loops. That is your berry stitch. Next slip stitch into the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across. Berry stitch into the next stitch so yarn over Insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through one loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Five loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through all five. Then slip stitch into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. At the end of your row you will work a final slip stitch into that last stitch, chain one and turn your work. Okay. 
At the end of your row two, once you've turned your work, you're going to see those berry stitches popping out at, at you. Now for row through three, we're going to do a return row of single crochets and slip stitches. You're going to start your row three by working a single crochet into that first stitch. Next, slip stitch into the top of your berry stitch. Single crochet into the next slip stitch and slip stitch into the next berry stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. At the end of this row, chain one and turn your work. At the end of your row three, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work back across working a row of berry stitches. You're going to start by working a slip stitch into your first stitch and then a berry stitch into your next stitch, into your next slip stitch. It helps in this pattern to keep your slip stitches a little bit loose so that it makes it easier to work into them. Slip stitch into the next stitch and berry stitch into the next. You're going to repeat that all the way across to the end where you will chain one and turn your work and that's all there is really to this berry stitch. I'll turn my work back around here. What you're going to do for the remainder of the pattern is repeat that row three, so your single crochet and your slip stitch row and your row four, this berry stitch row here that we're working on uh, for the entire length of your pattern. And that's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.